The Last Black Widow. The crackling flames danced in the darkness, casting an enchanting glow on the faces of the villagers gathered around. A woman, with an air of charisma and wisdom, stood before them, her eyes gleaming with the stories of generations past. As silence settled, she raised her voice and proclaimed, I am going to tell you a story, she began, her words hanging in the air like a veil of intrigue. A story that has been passed down through generations, whispered in hushed tones, and woven into the very fabric of our village's history. The story is that of the Black Widow. The crowd leaned in, their hearts quickening with anticipation. The Black Widow would carefully select maidens whose souls resonated with her dark allure, she continued. With a single bite, she imparted her essence, transforming them into embodiments of seduction and treachery. These maidens, bestowed with newfound powers, became sirens of the land. Their beauty, enhanced by the spider's venom, enchanted men, drawing them irresistibly into their bewitching grasp. One day when the sun bathed the village in its golden embrace, a girl called Zahara ventured into the outskirts, driven by the simple task of gathering firewood. Unbeknownst to her, fate lurked in the form of a creature with powers many believed to be a mere figment of myth. As Zahara's footsteps carried her deeper into the woods, a black widow spider, its jet-black body glistening with danger, lay in wait. With a venomous bite, it whispered its essence into her veins, forever binding their destinies. As the villagers absorbed the weight of the legend, the mystical aura of their ancestors enveloped them. Zahara fought a valiant battle against the spider's venom, her body racked with pain for days, the storyteller continued. But her family, burdened by the weight of legends and fearing the repercussions of unveiling the truth, kept the bite a secret. They shielded her, protecting her from the prying eyes and wagging tongues that would surely come if the truth were revealed. When she finally emerged from the depths of her illness, she bore an air of mystery that captivated all who knew her. Her transformation was profound, like a butterfly emerging from its cocoon. Zahara, once a clumsy girl, now moved with a grace that seemed to defy gravity itself. She became elusive, her presence as intangible as water slipping through one's fingers. The young and older men of the village found themselves spellbound by Zahara's enchanting allure. They yearned for her attention, for just a glimpse of her radiant smile. Zahara became a beacon of fascination, igniting a longing in their souls that they had never experienced before. Yet, tragedy soon followed in the wake of Zahara's enchantment. She wed a young man from a wealthy family, their union celebrated with joy and hopeful anticipation. But as the seasons changed, so did the young husband's health. A mysterious illness consumed him, draining the light from his eyes until he drew his final breath. Zahara became a widow, her sorrow piercing the hearts of the villagers who rallied around her, offering sympathy and solace. Undeterred by her previous loss, Zahara found solace in the arms of another man, a kindred spirit whose love matched the intensity of her own. They were inseparable, their souls intertwined like the roots of ancient trees. Together, they welcomed a daughter into the world, a child called Aisha, born of their passionate union. The village rejoiced, embracing the promise of new life amidst the shadows that trailed Zahara. But fate, relentless in its pursuit, struck once more. The husband fell ill, his body succumbing to an unknown malady that confounded the village healers. Whispers of suspicion crept through the air, weaving doubts and painting Zahara in shades of darkness. How could a woman so young, be widowed twice under such suspicious circumstances? Some whispered of curses and dark magic, of a black widow's legacy that lingered in the shadows of her life. Others sought solace in prayers, beseeching the spirits to shed light on the mysteries that encased their beloved Zahara. And so, tragedy continued its relentless pursuit, one sorrowful chapter unfolding after another. Zahara's daughter, Aisha, blossomed into a beautiful young girl, inheriting her mother's captivating allure. Aisha, like a delicate flower caught in a storm, grew up amidst the whispers of the village, haunted by the shadows of her mother's tragic past. She possessed the same sauntering grace that had entranced the hearts of men, becoming a magnetic force that drew suitors like moths to a flame. As she entered womanhood, Aisha's life became a whirlwind of love and loss. Each marriage she entered seemed to be blessed with wealth, a testament to the Black Widow's legacy that coursed through her veins. And yet, with each union came the inevitable sorrow of a husband's sudden illness and demise. The villagers, torn between empathy and apprehension, found themselves torn between their genuine concern for Aisha and the lingering doubts that clouded her path. But within the walls of her family, the secret of the Black Widow's bite remained guarded. And so, as Aisha navigated the treacherous waters of love and loss, she bore witness to a ceaseless cycle of tragedy and material wealth. 
From the countless matches of Aisha, a daughter was born, named Amira. She inherited the striking beauty and alluring presence of her grandmother and mother before her. Growing up, Amira delved into her family's history, unearthing the legacy of the Black Widow that coursed through her veins. With each passing year, her understanding deepened, and she became acutely aware of the weight she carried. Fate, with its unpredictable twists, led Amira to fall deeply in love with a young man. But she knew the consequences that awaited, the heavy burden of the Black Widow's legacy that loomed over her. She refused his proposal, unwilling to subject him to the same tragic fate that had befallen the man who came before him. However, the man's persistence wore down her resolve, and against her better judgment, she relented. With a heavy heart, Amira watched as her love withered away like a fragile flower, fading into the embrace of death within a year of their union. The pain seared her soul, reaffirming her resolve never to surrender herself to love burdened by the legacy she bore. She vowed to protect others from the tragic web that entangled her family, to shield them from the Black Widow's curse. She retreated into seclusion, concealing herself from the world, and made a solemn vow never to claim another soul for her dark list. As the storyteller looked upon the captivated crowd, their faces filled with anticipation, she addressed them directly. The last Black Widow still walks among you to this very day, she revealed. Gasps and murmurs swept through the crowd, their collective shock palpable. With a calm yet resolute demeanor, she raised her hand, beckoning for silence. The crowd hushed, their breaths held in suspense, awaiting the revelation. And then, with an air of finality, the storyteller spoke, her words resonating like a thunderclap in the still night air. I am Amira, the last Black Widow. A collective gasp swept through the crowd, a collective shudder coursing through their beings. Faces paled, eyes widened, and jaws dropped in awe as the gravity of the revelation sank in. The last Black Widow, the embodiment of a legacy steeped in tragedy and mystery, stood before them, bearing her soul in the flickering glow of the fire. Questions tumbled forth, voices clamoring to be heard, but the storyteller raised her hand once more, commanding their attention. Yes, there is more to this story, a tale that will shed light on the mysteries that lie within the web of the Black Widow. But for now, let the revelation settle, and in due time, the secrets will unfold. The crowd, although aching for resolution, nodded in solemn agreement. They understood that some stories were meant to be unraveled with care, their depths explored in measured steps. And so, the fire crackled, its warm glow casting dancing shadows upon the storyteller's face, Amira, the last Black Widow. Thank you for watching our story, The Last Black Widow, and we hope you enjoyed it. What lessons did you draw from this story? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and be part of the tribe. Thank you for watching The Tales of the Savannah, and I will see you next time, in the Savannah.